Welcome to this week's weekly random news. America has gone Trump crazy. Apparently a man was seen smashing up Donald Trump's star in Hollywood. And the bad news is that I don't believe those refugees set that camp on fire. They wouldn't risk their lives to do that. I think the French did it to run them out. And the ugly and the bizarre. Apparently Great British Bake Off, this is supposed to be a knight in shining armour. Everybody's pointing to this little thing that they think is his dooley, forgetting that it looks like a big doo-doo. And it's time for giddy, 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 giddy box. It's Halloween and they've got all their scary programs out. The only ones that I do watch is The Strain because that caught me by surprise. It was a virus on a plane and I watch Z Nation. I won't be watching Channel Zero anymore because I find it quite scary. But look at all these other blood-sucking, devil-worshipping, vampirish programs. Not just for Halloween, you know, all year round. And you can't even get a look at Jesus of Nazareth at Christmas time. Chop! Hello and welcome to Peef of the Week. I'm going to try and keep it short. Right, firstly, I want to say thank you to everybody who tuned into last week's episode and all of you that tuned into the Peef of the Week. We had over a thousand views and loads of shares. Brilliant. But even better than that, some of you have actually written in to me and given me your suggestions for Peef of the Week. And I've got a surprise for you next week. So this week, I'm going to be doing the Peef of the Week from a Facebook user called Bessie and Bessie has written in and said to me hi Luella peeve of the week how about peeve of the month can you please turn Colombo crumpled mac optional and tell me where black history month has gone October 25th and hardly a dicky bird about it and she says I blame the make black history month a year long celebration brigade right now I hear you Bessie I hear you and I couldn't investigate because I did not find anything. Where was Black History Month? Did you guys do anything? Were there any celebrations? I didn't hear anything. It was very low key. But on the other hand, I do agree that Black History Month, sh well, Black History should be celebrated every day. I am not Black just one month of the year. I am Black every day of the year. And Black History is something that should be taught to our children to tell them about Black love and black contributions and something to to uh, make part of our culture and be proud of and celebrate so that other people can celebrate with us not just one one month and you're going to have a little comedy show here and a little this that no 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 what happens after that we all go back to our bad breed ways no we need to be all year round now what did happen what i did notice was that stupid university somewhere somewhere who wanted to celebrate Black History Month and they put the face of Sadiq Khan, our mayor of London, and Zayn Malik, the little boy that was in um, One Direction and I knew from the X Factor that he weren't going to be able to cut it but anyway he had to leave because he couldn't take it but he said he wanted to do a solo career but anyway Sadiq Khan and Zayn Malik, this university have put them on the poster as the face of Black History Month. <clears throat> well, um, hello, they are Asian or of Asian persuasion and not that I have anything about against my brown brothers and sisters but I don't see very many Asian people shouting out I'm black and I'm proud and as Quad would say in Married to Medicine and that's all I'm going to say about that so you know w what but you know why they done it because we have allowed ourselves to be labelled we have now become can you see it? BAMES Black Asian Minority Ethnic. So they're like, oh, we want to do a black event. Um, oh, right, well, we can't do it because we're white. So we need somebody special. Oh, yes, get a bummy. Yes, get one of those black Asian minority ethnics. And you just dig in a pot and just pull out somebody who's non-white. It doesn't work that way. I am in protest now. I, can you see, I am not a bummy. I'm not a babe. I might be a babe, but I'm not a babe. Don't you dare put a label on me just because I'm not white. You know, you, 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 you don't do it. Right? No, you don't. I'm not a bummy. Don't you dare call me a bummy or a babe or whatever. Do you know what I am? This is what I am. Yeah? Can I see it? I am a BBBCFCL. Yeah? That is what I am. That is, I am a black, British-born, Caribbean female called 
Luella, that is what I am. I'm not a bane. So if you really want to know, I am a bakalaka flo. Yeah? And if you call me a bammy, that's what I'm going to tell you. I'm a bakalaka flo. So don't you dare call me bammy. And like my great comedy partner, the late Colette Johnson used to say, don't even call me an Afro-Caribbean, because I might be Caribbean, but I do have a bloody Afro.